Hello, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Uh, uh, what is, tell us a little bit about the research that you've come to talk about at the conference. Well, uh, my research is focused on the development of the novel nanomedicine platform for ovarian cancer. The reason we, why we are doing this is because ovarian cancer is a very deadly disease. So according to the American Cancer Society, this year we should expect about 22,000 ovarian cancer uh, cases. And unfortunately, more than 14,000 women will die from it. So basically, uh, the major reason uh, why the ovarian cancer is such a deadly disease because the, most of the patients, they are diagnosed at the advanced stage. And at this point, uh, what happened, the cancer tumors, they spread all over in the abdominal cavity. So actually, nowadays, the surgery plays a very important role in the treatment of the advanced ovarian cancer. So if surgeon can remove most of the cancer tumors from the abdominal cavity, the chance for the patient to survive is very high. So my team, what we try to do, we want to help surgeons to see hidden, non-visible cancer tumors. And obviously it will help them to better uh, surgically remove those tumors. And at the same time, we want to give them another therapeutic tool. So let's say if there is a challenge to remove that specific tumor, so surgeon can basically treat that tumor during this, uh, during intraoperatively. So our idea was just to develop the nanoparticles and those nanoparticles we should be able to inject, let's say, 24 hours before the surgery. And those nanoparticles during that period of time should accumulate specifically in the cancer tumors and at the same time they should clear it from the healthy organs. So during the surgeries, those nanoparticles, they can generate fluorescent signal and make cancer cell glow. And, and obviously it will help surgeons just to visualize them. And at the same time, those nanoparticles, if you expose them to the uh, near infrared light, so those nanoparticles, they can generate heat inside of, inside of the tumor and react to oxygen species. At this, uh, and obviously they can just, do, uh, those cancer tumors could be destroyed. So now, so far what we did, so basically we developed very simple, uh, safe and highly efficient nanoparticles. So simplicity of those nanoparticles is a very important feature because it will help just to translate those nanoparticles to the clinical side. So now our nanoparticles, they are based only on the single agent. So it, it, the name of that agent is uh, naphthalocyanin. So that agent can, can generate the fluorescence and can be used for the imaging purposes. And at the same time, if you expose that agent to near infrared light, it can generate heat and reactive oxygen species. It can be used for the therapeutic purposes. So, uh, and just to improve the targeted delivery uh, of that uh, agent to the cancer tumors, we encapsulate that agent inside of the polymeric nanoparticles. And actually our approach also very simple, just how we encapsulate this agent in the nanoparticle. We just simply mix that naphthalocyanin molecules and the polymer in the solvent. And after we evaporate that uh, solvent, so we have the very uniform nanoparticles. So on the other side, what I want to mention, uh, our nanoparticles are very safe because first of all, the polymer which we use is biocompatible and biodegradable. And when we did the intravenous injection, we didn't see any side effect on the animals. And finally, those nanoparticles are highly efficient because what we notice after intravenous injection, they predominantly accumulate in the cancer tumors. They clear it from the healthy organs. And at the same time, they generate a strong fluorescent signal, providing a very high contrast uh, for, the fluorescent, uh, fluorescent, uh, for the sensitive detection. And finally, what we notice, when we expose those tumors to the need for red light, those tumors were eradicated from the animals. Well, thank you very much, Dee, for, for, for joining us. I'm sure that, that, that's really interesting work, and thank you for sharing it. Thank you.